Alright, what's up guys? This is Daniel with Midnight Movie Trash. Doing another Midnight Movie Trash approved review. And in this one, we are doing the 1970... It says 74 on release. Uh, October 30, 74. Release of... Thriller. Alright. So, Thriller, a cruel picture also known as Hooker's Revenge, and they call her one Eye. What can I say about this film? This is a notorious 70s rape revenge, Euro sleaze, you name it, film from Bo Arm Zabinius, and it stars Christina Lindbergh, Christina Lindbergh, a very hard watch for some, Due to the fact that it is a rape revenge film. She is raped as a young girl that leaves her mute and 15 years later she misses a bus and a random guy picks her up to take her to town with arterial motives. With you know gets her hooked on heroin and puts her out the bus. This one it's not for everyone. You know, there is heavy drug use in it. You know, they do hook her to heroin. As well as in the full cut, there is hardcore penetration and pornographic scenes in this one. And uh, Synapse Films did put this back out in 2004 on DVD. And around the same time, they came out with, uh, I believe it's called The Vengeance Cut, which is all action, no porno put into it, as well as the full uncut. Well, Severin decided to finally put it out in Blu-ray, and it is a carbon copy of the DVD from what I can see. It, you know, it has a reversible cover, as well as, you know, the, I believe the same special features, which are, this film inspired Kill Bill for L's character in Kill Bill. It is a very, very good film to watch if you're into the genre of revenge. It is my, one of my top three revenge films of all times and we'll be diving into revenge films in another video I'm still working on it as well as I saw a Q&A with Christina Lindbergh from 2017 and from Austin's Alma Draft House where she stated that the eye galaxy or the girls that have seen it was done on a real female cadaver that was, that was a, a, a mindfuck of her wow. With, you know, you know, it came from her, from her words, from that, uh, uh, that Q&A that they did, uh, and, which I did not know about, I would have loved to have attended that, even though they did show the, the videos cut, they messed out all the, the, the uncut version was not showed, but, you know, basically, you know, she is, you know, like I said, hooked on drugs, put out to prostitute, you know, abused by, you know, the Johns and the, the females that come and partake in, in her services. But as she is going through the motions of, of being a prostitute, she's saving her money and she's plotting her revenge. And it's a well deserved revenge. She takes driving lessons, shooting lessons, martial arts lessons, you know, training for her vengeance. And when she accumulates the money, she buys a car, steals some guns, and, you know, makes every single one of her victims pay. And deservingly, they paid. 
you know the the final the final kill on the main guy that hooked her. Um, I believe his name is Tony in the film. Well, it was a good one. I won't spoil it for you, but you know it, it's uh it's one of those films that you you if you're a fan of the exploitation the the genre of rape revenge or revenge films watch it even if you just watch the the straight you know uh, action cut as I call it you know that's fine you know, it's not for everyone but for one that you know, there is drug use in that one so you're easily set off by drug use tread with caution but this this uh, I have the 2004 DVD and sold it and had been after a copy of it and I said you know what I'm just gonna wait hopefully you know Synapse puts it out on Blu-ray and they did and you know it's it comes with both cuts. It comes with a DVD. You know, I, I, I'll, I'll. I don't know if it's gonna focus right, but yeah, it's not focusing. We'll we'll get we'll get better shots of this to cut in. You know, both both cuts. You know, it has the the new cover and the reversible original cover. But I did not know. That Vinegar Syndrome is also putting out a new version of the film in 4K. And what I mean by new version is they're going to scan the, the negative of the original print and you know do do the Vinegar Syndrome uh, full you know deal on it. And truthfully, if I had known. I would have weighed it and gotten that one, being that it is going to be an official approved cut of the film, a version of the film, more, you know, for better, better uh, uh, terms, you know, with, you know, Bo, you know, involved and doing, I believe, commentary and a whole bunch of new special features, which are something I really so yeah, uh, this uh, snap film version came out in February 22nd. It was one that was slated for March. You know, Amazon sent me an email saying, "Oh, your, your pre-orders are arriving early on the 22nd." And then I got an email saying, "No, sorry, it's coming out like the 8th or something of March." And then no. Another email that, hey, your package is going to be delivered in two days. So, you know, it is what it is. You know, I don't mind having two copies of it. You know, the alternate cover that they did for this version, I really like. It's got that 70s grindhouse, you know, poster vibe to it. But, you know, the Vinegar Syndrome film... I I have a good feeling that they're going to knock that one out the park. And I will be pre-ordering it. As of what I saw in an email from Vinegar Syndrome, that they, they will be doing a, I don't know, maybe like halfway to Black Friday or, or, or no, spring break sale. Or some, some sale at the end of the month of March. And they did say that that would be up for pre-order and I believe it has a tentative date of a May release so I'm looking forward to that but my dilemma is I will be going to Texas Frightmare in April my thing is I know Vinegar Syndrome has a tendency to take their pre-release films to the, the closest show to the release like they did with the uh, New York Ninja. So I'm, I'm like, do I pre-order it? And if they, I believe they are going to get things like that. If they have it there, do I just bite the bullet by it there and cancel my pre-order? You know, 
that's my dilemma. I don't want to not pre-order it and then, you know, they don't have it there or it's not, you know, they're not there this year. You know, it can't happen. But, you know, that's my, my big dilemma. But with that being said, you know, one of the, the big things on the uncut version is the inserts of the, of the pornographic scenes. And from what I've read and I've heard in, in another interview is that there was a, a couple that did hardcore films brought in to shoot the inserts of those scenes. So that is not Christina in those, uh, uh, in those scenes. Even though she was a, a uh, model and I believe she did penthouse and stuff like that, but that was not her her uh, uh, actual body doing the those scenes. But you know, in true European sleaze, you know, you can't not miss an opportunity to add some kind of you know hardcore or risque, in this case, very pornographic scenes to a to a film. But, you know, it, it, it's, this one ranks up there with me, with uh, uh, Mrs. 45, as well as I Spit on Your Grave, and, you know, the, the Death Wish series. So those, I love those films. You know, I'm a big fan of the revenge genre. You know, not necessarily the, you know, just rape, but the entire genre of revenge is a, uh, uh, I I enjoy those films. You know, I like to see them get their revenge. But it is one to watch again. If you have not seen it, do yourself a favor and check it out. You know, whether it's like I said, either cut this one or wait to the vinegar syndrome. But it, it's it has its following, and you know. I believe at that time, uh, Synapsis had the rights to it and brought it out in, you know, 2004. I don't know about the legality of them bringing it out, you know, in 2022. You know, I, I from what I've read off of Vinegar Syndrome, that there is a, a there may be a fight, you know, you know, for the the film release so I, I don't I don't know the full details and I'm, don't quote me on that but it is uh, it is one to watch and you know it's one of one of the exploitation's greatest uh, uh, revenge films in my book the the one thing that that I will say it's kind of a revenge art house style film in the way that it's it's shot, especially when she gets her revenge. You know, it gives you a dreamlike sequence of her in slow motion, you know, going with the gun in slow motion and shooting them and you know, when they're hit, their reaction, it's everything is slowed down. It's almost like Matrix like before the Matrix was even thought of where every like bullet time is slowed down it's uh it, it's cool but i think it was a little overdone i think not every kill needed to be you know slowed down like that but you know it does give you that dream sequence like you know when things happen and you see things in slow motion as it's happening like you know, you knock over something or accident, it gives you that, that feel and that vibe. You know, it's uh, it's very unique, and for being, you know, a very simple film, that was pretty, pretty unique for that time frame in film. But, you know, shot and sweeten, you know, it's, uh, you know, the, the cinematography was beautiful. You know, the landscape, you know, the, the whole, you know, the, the way they change her eye patch color and you know, it, it was a it was a well shot film. A uh, 
very, it, it's, you know, I can see her talk about it, but until you sit down and watch it, you, you won't understand and, you know, do yourself a favor and definitely check it out. So, this one is definitely Midnight Movie Trash approved. You know, it, it's, you know, the ultimate midnight movie. You know, when the kids are asleep and you uh, you want to watch something, you know, pop in, you know, thriller, a cool, a cool picture, you know, and give it a watch, man. Till next time, this is Daniel. See ya.